Hey everyone, welcome back. And in today's video, we're going to be talking about the importance of automatic updates and why you should never stop or skip them. Now, I know we've all been in a situation where we're either watching something or playing video games and the dreaded update pop up interrupts our fun. So we either stop the update or schedule it for later. But in reality, this could be really dangerous for a bunch of different reasons, which I'll be talking about in this video. And before we start, if you're interested in getting any antivirus, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on products I usually recommend in the description down below, along with some discounts. Okay, so the first thing you should know about antivirus updates is that they're pretty important when it comes to patching vulnerabilities in their software. Now, there aren't any perfect antiviruses and hackers keep looking for cracks in their systems to abuse and write malware that specifically targets these vulnerabilities. However, having frequent updates would fill in these cracks and put cyber criminals in check. Now, as you may already know, cyber threats have been constantly evolving, especially these past few years. That's why antivirus companies continuously research and develop new methods to detect and protect against the latest malware viruses, and other forms of cyber attacks. Automatic updates deliver these new threat signatures and detection techniques to your antivirus, helping it stay up to date with the current threat landscape. Other than that, cyber criminals often try to exploit security flaws before they become widely known and patched. Automatic updates can ensure that your antivirus is ready to detect and protect against these zero-day exploits as soon as possible. Another important aspect you should consider when it comes to automatic updates is that they're designed so that you don't have to manually update your antivirus every time. Having it done manually would just result in a lot of users skipping the update and pilling it up for later, which could be pretty dangerous as these updates would help fend off new and emerging threats. Having it done automatically would just take that burden off your shoulders and make sure your system is protected from new malware at all times. Besides, most top antivirus programs like Morton, for example, schedule their updates to start whenever your PC is in idle mode so you won't actually feel it. Another thing to take into consideration is the operating system systems and other software on your computer often receives updates. These updates can change the way your system works and the antivirus software needs to adapt to these changes to remain effective. Automatic updates would just make sure that your antivirus is compatible with the latest updates to your system and other software. Now, as I mentioned earlier, antivirus programs are not perfect and like any software, they can have bugs or glitches. Automatic updates include bug fixes, which can help ensure your antivirus operates smoothly and doesn't crash or produce errors. Other than that, software developers also work on optimizing their programs for better performance. And so automatic updates can include performance enhancements, making your antivirus software run more efficiently and have a reduced impact on your system's resources. And finally, apart from malware detection, antivirus software can also have features like firewall protection, email filtering, and web browsing security. Having these features receive updates would overall improve their security and effectiveness. So to sum it up, having automatic updates is pretty important for your antivirus, as it makes sure it is always completely functional and without any obvious weaknesses, while also having it ready to combat any new and emerging threats, including zero-day malware. And if you guys are interested in getting an antivirus for your devices, I'll be leaving some in-depth reviews on programs that I personally recommend to friends and family in the description below, along with some discounts. And that's it for today's video. If you liked the content or found it useful, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more of it. And if you have any questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to leave them in the comments, as I love getting to interact with you guys. And that's it for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one.